my video game collection and, and, and uh, computer uh, antique or vintage <laughs> computer collection started out pretty well exclusively with the Coleco line. And uh, I'm talking about the ColecoVision and the Coleco Atom computer. And that's basically all I own for many, many years. But more recently I've been intrigued by the evolution of the Z80 based gaming consoles and computers. And so one line of products that's really interested me has been the uh, Spectre Video uh, company, which more or less ultimately resulted in the MSX standard definition. So I found that this, uh, this line of computers is really not seen much on YouTube at all. I mean, there's a couple of uh, demo videos and a couple of homebrew software, uh, and a couple of uh, game reviews. But I don't see anybody reviewing the computer much at all, and so perhaps uh, it's time for me to to share and and let's see what uh, what's in my collection that I've picked up over the years. So first off, this is the first one I got uh, a few years back, and it's a box Spectra Video SV318 Mark II. Now this was an improved version of the original SV318 that came out in late '83. Uh, improved in the sense that apparently it has a, uh, a rather improved streamlined motherboard over the original. Now this is a PAL machine from Australia, um, so therefore it's uh, you know runs on on PAL televisions. I picked up a, off Craigslist a PAL TV that someone had brought over from Scotland when they moved here. I don't know, perhaps they thought they could use it here and they found they couldn't, so they put it up on Craigslist and I snapped it up. So the difference between this Mark II and the original is just uh, a bit of a color redesign and uh, again the, the innards are a totally new motherboard. Um, one thing this computer did come up with is uh, 32K RAM expandable and uh, this joystick device for moving the cursor and uh, for playing games etc. Um, it takes proprietary Spectra Video cartridges in uh, in this slot here. You can see they're quite a small, about the size of an Intellivision perhaps, uh, or even smaller actually. And I have actually one game <laughs> cartridge and I couldn't find it for this video so perhaps uh, this would probably be a multi-part because, well, sorry, but I got a whack of stuff to show you and uh, maybe if I come across that cartridge before the end I'll uh, I'll let you have a look at it. Now you could add a tape drive and actually I own about I think about 20 different titles on tape. Some are games and some are like educational and uh, productivity type of software, checkbook, address book, this type of thing. Um, tape loading of course was fairly slow but some of the titles, uh, like for example the Spectron, were also released for the ColecoVision. And it's basically the same game. In some instances it's hard to tell the difference. Very similar architecture and from the same company. And when you boot up the computer it boots up into uh, something called Super SV Extended Basic, which was a rather feature-rich basic language. and. Uh, a lot of programmers use it over the years to uh, develop their own software. They also came out with the quick shot joystick and actually they made these joysticks for other other consoles as well and over the years quite a few uh, of the quick shot variety of Spectra Video joysticks uh, made it to market. One of the uh, features of this line of computers that uh, made it attractive uh, for purchasers were the expansion uh, options. Uh, through a couple of different expansion ports you could add things like uh, again the tape drive, disk drives and uh, other uh, peripherals via the expansion ports. Note that you could add uh, two joysticks and uh, note that unique power supply adapter. It's the same one as the ColecoVision. Now I haven't seen, other than the Spectra Video and the ColecoVision, uh, I have not seen this particular type of uh, a connector for a power supply. 
Note that, however, they are not interchangeable between the ColecoVision and the Spectra Video computers. There's uh, requires different, radically different, uh, different voltages. Now, my next acquisition, I think it was last year, was the uh, next in line on the Spectra Video uh, suite, and this one is uh, the SVI 328. Uh, sometime in the transition, they changed their name, uh, their, their actual logo to SVI, Spectra Video International. Actually, the company was known as Spectra Vision. If I would go into the history, they were known as Spectra Vision initially, and then they changed the name due to a uh, bit of a conflict with another company by the same name that did, uh, oh, hotel televisions and the like. You may have actually seen Spectra, Video, uh, Spectra Vision if you've rented a hotel room, maybe on the television or the switch box or something like that. But anyway, um, this is a, a Spectra Video SV328. Um, and this one actually is an American, an NTSC model, 110 volts, so I don't require any adapters for that last one, the Austral Australian 318. I actually have to, it, it requires 240 volts for the power supply, so I actually went out and bought a cheap, uh, not, w works well, but it was inexpensive, um, voltage adapter to step it down from 240 down to our, our 110. Uh, so no adapters required for this one. I, I got this one. It works fine, but as you can see, there's a couple of keys missing. However, in the lot that I purchased off eBay, there's actually a second one, and it works just as well as, you know, just as good as, as well. But I, you know, I'll be able to scavenge those missing keys from uh, from that second unit. Uh, same cartridge slot as the uh, 318 takes the same cartridges. Uh, the reason they came out with this one is they bumped it up to 64k RAM and uh, and more ROM, so it was like a same kind of computer with more juice. It's got the better keyboard as well. The I don't know whether you noticed the 318 had that chiclet type of keyboard. Not too great when typing in basic programs and the like, but uh, certainly functional. But this one has the full travel uh, keys on it. Um, Again, by default, it boots up to basic, and uh, because it had 64K and was a Z80 machine, it also had the potential ability to run CPM 2.2, which uh, was de rigueur back in the day there, and actually a nice operating system until MS-DOS more or less uh, greatly overshadowed CPM. Now here's my latest acquisition. It's a really nice boxed Australian uh, complete uh, 328. So you can see how I have no less than three. See how notice though this one is called an SV328. So this must have been a slightly earlier model than the other because the other one as you noted did show SVI which was uh, was was the um, designations they used on slightly later models. So this perhaps was an earlier uh, 328 than the American ones. The box and everything inside are just in amazing condition for this particular computer. Uh, yes, it has some yellowing, uh, but that can easily be cleaned up. In uh, part two of my series here on the Spectra Video line of uh, computers and peripherals, I'm going to look at expansion options. Stay tuned.